free day was a full day yesterday. I, I had the daytime stream off. We'll talk a little bit about that on the show today because I'm sure you guys are interested in what went down, why I wasn't here. Uh, things didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's put it that way. Uh, but what else is new in my life, right? The day that something goes smoothly must be like the day that the planets aligned and, you know, some kind of rare dimensional occurrence happened. Because usually things that are just tiny little menial tasks, normal things for most people, have to be giant ordeals for me because everything always goes wrong. We'll talk a little bit about that. It's like the Murphy's Law, right? If everything, anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. Um, anyway. I'm definitely excited for today for various different reasons. You know, number one, full streaming day today. It's a nice, cool autumn day. I actually have a fan in the office now, a ceiling fan, which is awesome. I picked a really good one for this office. I really love it. Uh, we'll talk about that today. And uh, we've got a ton, a ton of gaming news to discuss today. It's crazy how much happens in like a 24 hour period, especially when you're not around to talk about it. And so today we're gonna to play catch up with a whole bunch of stories. I expect this is probably gonna take up like the meat of the show. Uh, so I hope you're ready for some game news today on the level one podcast. But what we'll do is let's talk about yesterday, what went down, why I wasn't here, what went wrong, uh, how this is gonna affect the schedule next week. Uh, in addition to that, we'll talk about some Bloodborne action and then the schedule for the rest of the week, and then we will uh, jump into this game news, okay? So, you ready? Your body is ready? All right, I'm glad. Someone just said my body is ready in the chat. I'm glad. Nice meet. Um, so here's the deal. Yesterday, I wasn't here during the daytime stream. You wonder, well, why? Well, as you know, I've been talking about this a lot recently. This year's been really good for me. These last three months of August, September, and October, you guys have been absolutely, amazingly support it seriously i'm so happy that things have turned around and for the better i'm able to uh do things now in my life with more flexibility because uh you know things are better around here you notice that day to day i'm not like oh i can't afford a game or i can't do this or that in fact it's the opposite i'm talking about upgrading the setup and doing other things for myself and my family you know notably i just had an extra day off last week that i spent with my wife and it was a really nice day where we went out and had a lot of fun, okay? So what was I up to yesterday? Well, I've been talking about this over the past couple of months that we really could use a few ceiling fans in the house. This house has no ceiling fans. It's odd because the house also has no central air. But when they built the house, I guess they never thought that air would need to move through it. Pretty bizarre. Notably, these last few years, we've had some really hot summers. And because of that, uh, I wanted to get some ceiling fans in various rooms of the house. And the thing that really kind of spearheaded this effort is that uh, in end of last month, was it? Basically, we had a really ugly lamp over our dining room table. It was a lamp that's like a giant half bowl of glass. It kind of looked like the top half of a flying saucer, but it was heavy-ass transparent glass. My wife and I never liked it. Okay, we always knew, we're like, we gotta get rid of this someday, but it's like, it works, so there's no real reason to care so much about it. So, one day last month, she's cleaning it, which just means she's, she's standing on, like, a, you know, a step stool, and she's just wiping the glass with some cleaner. The entire thing rips out of the ceiling and drops, like, eight inches. Then it yanks on the, on the wires, and all the power goes out to it. And we're like, well, crap. Obviously, we got a problem now. We have no light in the dining room. And we started talking about what we wanted to do. And I was like, well, we can actually like afford now to have like an electrician come and put something in new. But the question is, what do we want to do? Do we want recessed lighting in the ceiling? Do we want a lamp? Do we want a fan? We talked about it. And after talking about it for a little bit, we decided, hey, let's do a ceiling fan because we actually have no air circulation at all on the bottom floor outside of the vents, which just blows some air around the house, but it doesn't really like circulate nicely in any particular room. Uh, at the same time, in this office, I've never had air circulation. There's nothing, it's like a dead room where there's no way to get air to move through it, especially on days when I'm streaming and my wife is home and I have to have the door closed. This, this room gets stagnant and the air gets very stuffy with all these electronics running. And I always wanted to have like a ceiling fan in here. I had a really crappy lamp that was here from when I moved in 10 years ago that never even worked. It had three little bulbs and two of them never worked. I was always using one bulb in this lamp and it didn't really do much for the lighting in the office. 
So, over the course of the last, you know, month, month and a half, my wife did some shopping and improvements. We had a washer dryer installed. And at the same time, we actually bought a couple of ceiling fans, one for this office and one for downstairs for the dining room. And finally, we had scheduled for an electrician to come to the house, check out the wiring, and install these ceiling fans. So this is what was supposed to happen yesterday afternoon. And we're thinking, it's two ceiling fans. This will not be a big deal. Maybe they'll be here an hour, maybe two tops if there's like an issue. But there's no way this should be any kind of a big deal, right? Yeah, right. Because again, like I said, when it comes to me... Jasper, you want to go in the closet? Yeah. When it comes to me, it can't just be things go normally, things go smoothly. Instead, it's got to be the most ridiculous, extenuating circumstance possible. So, the electrician showed up around noon, which is perfect. I'm like, oh, it'll be for like an hour or two. I'll have some extra time. I would even said, hey, I could do some things. I could maybe uh, keep cleaning out the garage. We've got a bunch of trash and stuff there. I could clean out, maybe take a second trip to the dump, and, you know, and, and throw out more. Uh, maybe I could put up a new shelf in the, in the uh, bathroom, because we actually had bought a new shelving system for our bathroom that I need time to install, uh, and I just haven't had time. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do some of those things. This will be good, right? So the electrician shows up at noon and starts basically, you know, assessing the situation in the dining room. He's like, well, it doesn't look like the wiring's too damaged. It looks like one of the wires did pull here. I could snip it here. You know, he removed the, the remaining parts of the broken lamp that were still attached. Um, and basically did a bunch of work. He said, okay, yeah, we should be good. Begins work, okay. And I'm just, you know, I can't leave him in the house alone or anything. So I'm stuck in the house, just kind of waiting around. So I'm just kind of relaxing on the couch, you know. Uh, Jasper, just so everyone knows, Jasper is deathly afraid of other humans. Seriously. And Jasper's my pet cat, by the way. He just went into the closet. He cannot stand other humans. He gets so afraid that he runs and cowers and hides whenever there's other humans in his house. So in this particular case, my wife said, I'll stay with Jasper in the bedroom with the door closed. That way he won't be afraid. I'll stay with him. I'll pet him. You know, he actually gets like almost like panicky, you know? So she stayed in the bedroom with him trying to basically console him. And we're thinking no big deal. It'll be an hour or two, right? So after about an hour, hour and a half, seriously, the guy finally, he says to me, we got big problems. <laughs> like, what's the problem? He goes, so here's what happened. Basically, the wiring is old. You know, my house is built in the 1990s. Of course, nothing's ever been done with the wiring since then. And it looked like this, something was wrong with the switch. So he had to replace the switch in the wall, first of all. Like, the old switch wasn't working properly with the fan at all. Like, he was flipping it on and off. The fan wasn't even turning on and off. The light, the fan, nothing. No, no power to it. So the whole thing had to be replaced, which is not a big deal. You know, it's just the switch, not a huge deal. So, but then he had to clean up a mess. I guess what happened was the box up in the in the in the in the ceiling was was incredibly old and wouldn't even really support a fan. So he had to upgrade it. So he did all this work, right? And he goes, "So I want to show you exactly what's going on because I want you to understand. You know, I did everything I could. So he, the fan is assembled and everything, but he didn't put the blades on yet because he wants to show me. He says, "So here's the light. Turns it on. The light works. And he's like, I can adjust it. The light seems to work fine." He goes, but no matter what I do, I can't get the fan to work right. Let me show you. And he presses on. And the fan still goes, rawr, rawr. it's like a car that you're trying to start and it just keeps stalling out. That's what this motor is doing. And he goes, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it has something to do with the, the wiring that when I first hooked it up, it got shocked. I don't know, you know, it had something to do with the switch. I don't know if the fan's just defective. Like, I have no clue. But it doesn't work because I did everything. Like I've done everything possible. And the fact that the light is working, but the fan doesn't is weird because the, 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 if the thing was messed up, the light wouldn't be working either. So it makes no sense that this motor starting and stopping, starting and stopping. I don't get it. He goes, all thing I can say is it looks like your fan's defective. So you got to return it and get another one. And then I'll come back free of charge this time. And I will install the fan properly like it was supposed to happen because you didn't get your fan today. And he actually did me a solid. He says, I don't want to leave you with no light. So he actually just installed an incredibly basic light bulb screw thing. So I could at least have a light bulb on my ceiling for now. To have a light there. He goes, that's fine. This is just temporary. You know, when I come back, we'll put in the fan and it'll replace this. But I don't want to leave you with nothing. Then he goes, just to show you that I'm not, you know, inept at my job. 
let me go ahead and uh and let me do this right uh, harley he had a voltmeter he had a voltmeter he tested it and said there was nothing wrong but he couldn't figure out why the motor wasn't working so please stop i love it he's fucking every time i tell a story these armchair quarterback fucking idiots on the internet. Well, if he was a good electrician, he would have had his voltmeter, and he would have been testing all the wires, and he would have been... He did, stupid. Can you shut up and just listen to the story and stop acting like you know better than everyone else? These people on the internet, I swear to God, are fucking stupid. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, he says, just to show you that I know what I'm doing, Let's do the fan upstairs. And he came up here, and in less than a half an hour, he had my ceiling fan installed in this office. No problem whatsoever. He said, yeah, I far, hardly just fuck off, okay? Get the fuck out of my chat, you fucking idiot. Okay. So, this, he says, this switch is normal. Didn't seem to have any problems with it. Everything's working fine, right? No problems at all. Fan installs easily. He goes, this is great. He goes, this is the kind of fan I like. Didn't give us any problems. Smooth work and everything. So now I have this nice ceiling fan where I have a light. Not that I'm ever going to use this when I'm on stream, because as you can see, it's not going to record well. I have a ring light for when I'm on stream, and that's what I'm going to use. But I have a ceiling light. It dims and, and gets brighter. Like It has a, a bit, all these dimming settings, which is nice. I've got a three-speed fan that circulates the air very nicely. I've got it on high right now, and it's really moving the air around nicely in the, in the, in the room. And uh, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. So I'm very pleased with the ceiling fan. It looks great. It's all it's all black and it matches kind of the motif of the room. I have black uh blackout curtains and I have a black ceiling fan. I've you know, it's good. It's fitting everything. So I'm like, oh, this is a great, great deal. So I'm happy with that. But now here's the bummer. And this is the sadly, this is gonna affect streams and the like. So now I have to take the defective fan back to the store over the weekend on my day off. Instead of relaxing with my wife, I have to drive across town. Because I checked, and the closest store doesn't have it in stock, so I have to drive across to the further store, physically return it, and try to exchange it for the same fan. Then I have to contact the company again to try to have them come out. The guy basically said he wanted to come out, like, same day, so if he'd come out, like, Wednesday of this coming week, same time, same same day, it would be perfect. I said, all right, so let's, let's tentatively schedule it for then, and I'll see if I can get the fan. Hopefully I can get the fan, and then we can have you come out and do it again. And hopefully this time it'll be fast and it'll basically be what should have been yesterday where he does the fan quick and then I have some extra time. Like I said, maybe I can go to the dump or maybe I can, uh, you know, put up a shelf or maybe I can do both. Who knows? But it just sucked because I literally sat around four hours yesterday. It was, it was basically like two to two and a half hours for the downstairs fan then about a half an hour for this fan. And then, of course, you know, cleaning up and paying and everything. So he's here for almost four hours. It was my entire afternoon that I would have been streaming was shot on these fans, and I only got one out of the two. So, next week, again, I have to take a day stream off in order to do this. You know what really sucks? Here's what really sucks. My wife and I wanted to take extra days off together. You know, that was the intention, is that we're going to have extra days off to spend time together. Not me sit around all fucking day with a guy putting a fan in. So, now we were supposed to have another day off together next week, and we can't, because I have to take this stream off to do the fan shit. And it, it screws our time up. And, of course, the week after that is Thanksgiving. We probably can't take a day off then. It's like, oh, very frustrating. It is. It's really frustrating, guys. So my apologies for venting a little bit. No, I didn't. He, he, someone just says, if he was there, here we go. Another armchair. You know what? Fuck this person, too. Another armchair quarterback idiot. If he was there for four hours, you had time to go to the store and exchange the fan. The store's a half an hour away. The guy's in my house doing work. I'm not going to leave the house for a half an hour one way, exchange the fan, drive back. So I'm going to be gone for like an hour or more while this guy's in my fucking house. Get the fuck out of my chat and get banned, you stupid bitch. These fucking people, I swear to God. Who's next? Who's next to be an asshole in my chat and get your ass kicked out? What a fucking moron. Trust me, I thought about it. If it was if it was closer by, I was going to do it. But the closer store didn't have it. There's a, there's a store that I could have gone to that was like 10 minutes away. No, it has to be the one that's like a half an hour away is the one that has it in stock. So anyway, uh, it sucks. It, it, was a, it was a shitty afternoon. I really wish that it was a better afternoon and everything had gone smoothly, but no, of course not, right? And now, of course, this affects the streams next week. It means that I can't do a day stream, likely on Wednesday. You know, I haven't 
hundred percent scheduled and confirmed it yet with these guys. Um, so I have to talk with them again to schedule. It looks like it'll probably again be Wednesday of next week that I can't stream on the day stream. It is what it is. Okay. So stupid shit, but you know, again, if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. So I have to get the defective one and I got to deal with it. Right. So, um, thank you everyone understanding that I couldn't be here yesterday. I sure would like to take another day off to spend with my wife, but at this point, it ain't looking good. You know, now Saturday, I got to go across town to the store to exchange the fan. I got to get some pet supplies. I got to go grocery shopping. So there we go. There's my day off, right? <laughs> Won't get to spend time with my wife again. I'll be out and about all day long. But that's life, I guess, right? So that was yesterday during the day. The good news is last night, we had a great stream of Bloodborne. Uh, basically continuing